Unit 3. Supports and Services As a resettled refugee, you will have access to different types of supports that will help you adjust to life in Canada. Where these supports come from differs depending on your resettlement program. There are four different types of resettlement programs. Government Assisted Refugees Program Individuals who resettle under the Government Assisted Refugees Program receive financial support from the government and immediate settlement support from government-funded organizations. Private Sponsorship of Refugees Program Individuals are sponsored and supported by private groups or organizations. Individuals who resettle under the Private Sponsorship of Refugees Program receive financial support and immediate settlement support from their private sponsors. Sponsors are legally responsible for providing sponsored refugees with a limited amount of financial support under the Private Sponsorship of Refugees Program. Sponsors are not allowed to ask refugees for money or tell them that they need to prepay to be sponsored, even if they promise to give the money back once refugees are in Canada. Joint Assistance Sponsorship Program Individuals who resettle under the Joint Assistance Sponsorship Program receive financial support from the government. They receive immediate settlement support from government-funded organizations. They have private sponsors who provide them with additional support in Canada. Blended Visa Office Referred Program Individuals who resettle under the Blended Visa Office Referred Program receive financial support from the government and from their private sponsors. They receive immediate settlement support from their private sponsors. Regardless of your resettlement program, the financial support you will receive in Canada is limited. The amount will depend on many factors, including your family size, the ages of family members, where you live, and your family's needs. Your government-funded organization or your sponsors can help you to make and follow a budget. The immediate settlement support you will receive in Canada, whether from your government-funded organization or your sponsors, is also limited. The length of time that these supports last depends on the resettlement program and may change depending on your circumstances. Look at the immediate settlement supports you will receive in Canada. Winter clothes if you arrive in the winter. Transportation from your final destination to the accommodation where you will stay. Temporary accommodation. Help in finding permanent housing and household items. And referrals to additional long-term support to help you settle in Canada. It is important that you travel to your assigned destination. There, you will receive the support based on your settlement needs. Otherwise, there may be a break in financial and immediate settlement support. If you plan to move to another community, you must notify your government-funded organization or your sponsors as soon as possible. If you are resettled under the Government Assisted Refugees Program, there could be a delay in receiving your financial support if you move. If you are resettled under the Privately Sponsored Refugees Program or the Blended Visa Office Referred Program, you may no longer be eligible for financial or settlement support from your sponsors if you do not live in the same community as your sponsors. You are also responsible for all the costs and preparations related to moving to a different community, including travel and accommodation. Regardless of your resettlement program, you should access long-term settlement services from government-funded organizations. They can help you resolve settlement challenges, meet people, develop skills, look for a job, and much more. Remember, government-funded settlement organizations are responsible for supporting all newcomers, and their services are free. It is useful to go over this information after you arrive. You are strongly encouraged to access the supports available to help you resettle and adjust to life in Canada.